don't forget Mr. Putin was very much a creature of the Soviet Union. He was the intelligence services. He may have underestimated the extent to which Russia has changed in the last 10 years. And um, Russia has a, had a fledgling democracy in the last 20 years since the collapse of the Soviet Union. It has not had a full-blown democracy in the sense that we've had in the Western world or in New Zealand, for example. For example, during the elections, the opposition do not get equal access to the media time. And for all these reasons, he may have assumed that he could dictate the pace of political change, where the indications are, particularly the reaction to these elections, that he can't. Well, the media has played a huge role in, in this protest action, hasn't it? I think it's a crucial factor because one of the reasons so many Russians are upset is that they have actually recorded, using mobile telephones, the actual stuffing of ballot boxes. In other words, people are actually showing irregularities um, in the most visual way possible. So I think many people are disgusted by what's happened and many Russians claim that the 49 per cent that the Put United Russia, that's Putin's party, claim they won, is about half that. The, the, so this, I think that, yeah. The, this sort of social media is playing a big role in protest action across well, the globe, really, isn't it? This uh, ability yeah. to mobilise great numbers of people. It does. And if you take uh, the rally that's occurred over the weekend, in which about 50,000 people uh, appeared in Moscow, around about 50,000. That was largely organised on Facebook. And so you see the potential here for people. And not only that, what's more worrying for Mr Putin is that many of the people protesting are young and educated and are not in, as frightened of the Russian state as perhaps their pe parents' generation. Yeah, that's interesting, um, isn't it? And also uh, protesters right across the uh, political spectrum, in fact, uniting political divides. Yes, and uh, there is also there is signs that this is a nationwide movement. It's not confined to Moscow, the, the second city in Russia. St. Petersburg has also seen mass protests, and there are signs that it's spreading to a number of other Russian cities. So is that what makes this protest action uh, different to past protests and perhaps uh, may create more meaningful change, do you think? Yes, there seems to be a powerful or, or, or anti-corruption movement that's gathering steam. Many people, many younger people seem to be outraged, not only by what happened in the parliamentary elections last week, but outraged by some of the corruption that's gone on under Mr Putin, with he and his inner circle doing very nicely thank you, and many other Russians uh, having quite a hard time in, in economic terms. So I, I think that uh, this is quite interesting what's developing it's also the potential here is for tensions between uh, Mr. Putin and his protege, uh, Dmitry Medvedev. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think there's a slight distance or gap developing between the two of them. I'm not sure Mr. Medvedev uh, was really happy about finding out that he was no longer going to be president and Mr. Putin was taking his job. And I've seen the switch in the media in the last few days. The media initially. Uh, didn't give any coverage to the protests in, in Russia, uh, but mid, middle of last, middle of uh, Wednesday, they started covering it in a reasonably fair and impartial way, which suggests that maybe Mr. Medvedev or some people within uh, the government believe the the protesters must be at least listened to. That's right. So uh, this interesting is too with Medvedev that he has to. This is a moment where, I guess, he gets revealed as being a, a bit of a marionette. Well, do you see new elections happening? I mean, this is what the protesters are, are calling for. Um, I don't at the moment, but you can't rule it out. I think it depends on the momentum of the protest. If the protests intensify, then I think there's a possibility that that demand will be held. Um, at the moment. There's no sign that even Mr. Medvedev or Mr. Putin, that, that all they say is that protests are fine, providing they're within the framework of the law as they define it. OK, so um, what, what should uh, Putin's next move be then? Well, uh, he is already distancing himself from the United Russia Party um, and um, is beginning to sort of present himself as someone who's not tainted by party politics. This is a very interesting movement. He's also blamed the United States for stirring up this whole problem. 
his immediate reaction after the protest developed on Monday was to blame it all on Hillary Clinton and the Obama administration. <laughs> he said they were very quick to criticise the Russian elections before even the reports of the independent monitors were in. And he says that it was the American criticism which has stirred up all the troublemakers in, in Russia. Uh, yes, we do like to blame things on the United States. So we will have to leave it there, though. Thank you very much for your time, Professor Robert Patman.